Hello everyone, I welcome you all to my another video session wherein we will see the concept of dictionary package using Automation Anywhere A360 version. So before we start our session for the day, I request every one of you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification icon so that you receive all the latest updates and notifications that we keep posting on our YouTube channel. One more information I want to give over here is that if you are beginner to RPA and want to learn the basics of RPA from the beginning then I will share the link for my book over in the description section so that you can refer to that as well. So without any further delay let us start our session for the day. So over here first of all you have to click on create new task bot and give the name to your di uh, give the name to your task bot as dictionary package. So before we start discussing the practical implementation of dictionary package and its various actions present under it, first of all let us discuss what is dictionary. So dictionary is a combination of key value pair. So let us see the example to create a dictionary. So in order to create a dictionary you need to click on the variables tab and over here click on the create variable option and in the data type drop down select the data type as dictionary and give the name to your dictionary as v source underscore dictionary and then click on add button in order to add the key and the value so first key that i will define is name and the value associated with the key i will define as abhishek and then i will add one more key and value so to add one more key and value click on the add button and give the name to your key as id and the value i will define as 132 and then click on create so now in order to perform actions on dictionary so go to the actions tab and under the dictionary package first of all the first action that we will see is the size so drag and drop the size action from the dictionary package so the size action will return the size of the dictionary that we have created. So in the property section, uh, select the dictionary variable as vsource underscore dictionary and store the output in a number variable that is v dictionary underscore size and then click on create and select. So in order to print the size of the dictionary, you need to drag and drop the message bot section from the message bot package. So drag and drop the message bot section. And in the enter the message to display field, write the text over here as size of dictionary is hyphen and then press function F2 or F2 and then uh, over here select the variable that is v dictionary underscore size and we will convert this number variable to string to convert the number variable to string use the dot to string method and it will automatically convert it to the string variable so this is how we can print the size of the dictionary so now in order to uh, get the value from the dictionary Again go to the dictionary package and drag and drop the get action. So the get action will be used to retrieve the value against that key that you will have that you have defined against it. So in the property section select the dictionary variable that is vsource underscore dictionary and define the key as id and then store the output in a variable of type any. So I will select the uh, or I will create the variable as v dictionary underscore id value and then click on create and select and then click on the save button. So again use the message bot section in order to print the value of the id that uh, in order to print the value against the against the uh, key that is id value of id key is and over here press function f2 or f2 
and then uh, over here select the variable that is v dictionary underscore id value and then click on the save button so in order to run the bot so let us now see the output or uh, so now let us see the output that it will generate of the code that we have written up till now so in order to see the output click on the run button so once you click on the run button the bot agent service would be invoked and all the dependencies will be downloaded and the bot will start to execute on the machine on which you are running the bot so let us wait for the bot to start its execution so it will download the dependencies first so after downloading the dependencies the bot will start to run so now over here the bot has started to run and you can see the size of dictionary as has returned the value as 2 since we created two keys and two values against those two key items so next it will print the value of the id that we have given so the value of id key that we have defined was 132 and it has returned the same value that we have initialized so this is uh, so these actions that we have built in our code is correct so the next thing that we will see in the dictionary package or the next action that we will see is the put action so put action is used to define or is used to assign the value to a key in the dictionary so if the key is already existing then uh, is already existing the value will be updated with the new value so in the property section select the dictionary variable that is v source underscore dictionary and then over here i will first or i will first create a new key that is subject and then i will define the type of the value that we will be passing sorry uh, i will pass in the value uh, that is static value and i will define the data type of the value that i will be giving so i will be giving the data type or value as string so over here i will define the value as computer and then click on the button so now if you go and execute this size action again of the to get the size of the dictionary this time it will return the value as 3 so over here uh, in the enter the message box field we will define as value as size of dictionary after adding the new key is v dictionary underscore size and we will convert it to string variable the next thing that we will do is to run this bot in order to see the updated size of the dictionary. So again you need to click on the run button in order to see the value of the updated dictionary that we have created. So again the bot will download the dependencies and it will start to run once it downloads the dependencies. So initially the size of the dictionary was 2. It will now return the value of id key that is 132. And now it will return the size of the new dictionary that is 3. So this is the so this is how you can add new item to the dictionary or you can update the existing key to in the dictionary. The next thing that we will do is to use the remove action. So the remove action is used to remove the key from the dictionary. So over here in the properties section select the dictionary variable that is v source underscore dictionary and over here I will pass the key, key as name and then click on the save button. So again copy the line number 6 and 7 and print uh, and copy and paste it after line number 8 so again we will get the size of dictionary after removing of the after removing of the key so save it 
and then click on the run button. So once you click on the run button, the bot will again start to run on the system on which you are running the bot. So again it will download all the dependencies which is being used in the bot. So let us wait for it to start it to start its execution. So the initial size of dictionary is 2. The value of id is 132 that we gave. The new size of the dictionary is after adding the new key is 3. And the size of the dictionary after we removed the key is 2. So this is how you can use the actions present under the dictionary package. So if you have any queries regarding this video then you can raise your queries in the comment section. And I will be more than happy to answer all your queries. So with that we have come to the end of our video session wherein we saw the dictionary uh, wherein we saw what is dictionary, how to create the dictionary and what are the uses or what are the usage of the actions present under the dictionary package. So before we wind up our session for the day, I request you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification icon so that you receive all the latest updates and notifications that we keep posting on our YouTube channel.